15 plus years of coding experience, and trust me, I've seen every documentation disaster that you can imagine. Ugly, slow, impossible to navigate. But this changes everything. Even Shed CN is using it for its documentation. Meet Fumadocs, a beautiful documentation framework made for developers with everything you need for your documentation. And let's dive in. Let's create our own documentation using the Fumadocs framework. Everything that we need to do is to run this CLI command right here. I'm going to use PMPM, so we are running PMPM create Fumadocs app. I'm running that inside of my projects directory in my terminal. And first thing we need to do is to give it the project name. So let's call it Orc Docs. Then we need to choose our template. We have here Next.js, MDX, Content Collections, Vaku, React Router, Tenstack Start. I'm just going to use the recommended Next.js. And we are not going to use Sources Directory. And we can put in ESLint linter. And we are going to install all the packages automatically. So now everything is being configured. And after this, basically, we are ready to start creating our own documentation. There it is. So now we can go to our org docs and run pmpm dev. All the packages are installed. And we can go to localhost 3000. And here we have our Fumadocs app up and running. And let's see how does it look. So we can go here to slash docs page, and this is our first document, so an example how we need to build our documentation. We have also dark and light mode, everything is looking nice. And here we have the left sidebar where we can see all of our documentation pages, so these components, for example, where we can see the example of code block and these cards. And we also have this right sidebar, let me just move my camera a little bit so you can see it, where we can see the content on this specific page where we are on currently. The most amazing thing that comes with Fumadocs is this search right here. So this is not an ordinary search. You can call it with Command K or Control K depending on your machine. We can search here anything that exists in our documentation. So for example, here we have this content docs. If I would just copy this part right here and search it, it would open exactly the spot where we have that part inside of our documentation page. And that is here. So this is working on all of your files inside of your documentation. And best part, all of these pages are actually MDX files. So let's open this project right here. I'm typing in code dot. So I'm opening cursor for my org docs. And we can see here inside of our root directory that we have content and here slash docs and we have index.mdx. That's basically our landing page where we saw that first document and an example that we need. And we have this test where we have that console log and basically that's this page components right here. You don't need to be a developer to write these documentation pages. You can simply just go here. It's readable by humans. You just need to use a couple of tags from Fumadocs framework. And of course, it is really easy to do it with AI. So here for this page, I can just say, create an example docs page for button with demo, example, usage, and features. And AI is going to do everything for me because now it is really easy. He's just writing the markdown language and that's it. And there it is. He added the entirely new page button.mdx even better so we can see it now inside of our documentation. So here we have a button component inside of our sidebar. And here we have an entire new page with the button documentation. So we can see here the overview and we can see it in the same time. You can see it on the right sidebar right here. And we have the demo with the code and with the preview, with the features, different variants, secondary button, outline button, ghost, etc., sizes. So this is already looking like a professional documentation and it is much better than 90% of things you are seeing out there. To be honest, I'm a little bit surprised how good this turned out to be from like the first prompt and everything is looking really nice. Like the AI with this, it's such a good combination. You can build anything you want. Three ugly documentations that I showed you in the beginning of my video are AWS documentation, Google Cloud documentation, and some note canvas that I found on Reddit. But think about just a little bit about AWS and Google Cloud. These are probably documentations that are seen by millions of developers over the year. And 
it is looking like this. I can never find what I need in this documentation. And that's the reason why I use this one, because when I need to put in my Google provider for better auth or for anything, I need to always, like, I always get lost inside of this documentation right here. So Google, AWS, I think it's time for refactoring. I will definitely refactor my 8BCN documentation to Fumadox. I just don't know when because I have 1 million projects on my back, but it will definitely happen and I'm going to make a video out of it. So if you're interested, tell me in the comments. And for more content like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe.